Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. So I want to do an up-to-date video on the texture release video that I did about three weeks ago. If you haven't checked that video out, please go check that video out because this one will be paired with that video. So under that video, y'all had a lot of great questions. So in today's video, I want to answer those questions and also show you guys the benefit of the texture relief in live form. <music> So I first want to apologize for how long it has taken me to upload this video. It definitely has been very, very busy in the salon. And I want to thank God so much because he has sent great people my way. So it has been very difficult for me to upload and edit and post videos. But now that I have a little downtime, I would like to focus on you guys and give y'all this content. So I just wanted to get that out the way because I don't want you guys to think that I'm ignoring you at all. It just has been very busy in the salon and I had to focus on that and make that my number one priority and then come back to you guys. So let's get into today's video. Okay, so one of the most common questions that is always asked when it comes to the texture release is, is this something that is permanent? And also it's very compared to a relaxer all the time. And people kind of get it confused with a relaxer. And the answer to that question is no, a texture release is not permanent. This is a temporary change to your hair. Now, the difference between a texture release and a relaxer is the one common word it's a permanent change so with the relaxer it actually breaks the bond down and make your hair straight where that is something that will not change unless you grow it out with the texture release it stretch stretch the bonds so it gives you the illusion to wear your hair straight longer and also it seals it with the ability to repel against your hair reverting through the humidity or anything of that sort that mostly is the common reason for your silk press reverting back it gives you the ability to wear it straight for up to two weeks or even more depending on how careful you are when you are wearing your silk presses and also your activity level but in the regards of the texture release this product does shampoo out of your hair the more often you shampoo your hair the quicker the product releases itself from your hair and it lasts between two to three months depending on you and how you treat it over time it wash out your curl pattern go back to its normal state and you can get the service done all over again So another most common asked question is, can the texture release last longer than three months? And the answer to that question is yes. The texture release is a solution that's placed in your hair and the way it releases itself from your hair is by shampooing. So the often you shampoo your hair, the quicker the solution releases itself from your hair. And when you don't shampoo your hair as often, the longer it takes for the texture release to stay in the head. I always inform my clients to shampoo the hair every two weeks, and that's simply because of the health of the hair. I, me as a stylist, this is my personal opinion coming into effect. I believe to build a healthy regimen with your hair starts with shampooing. And so to shampoo your hair every two weeks, to deep condition your hair, Remember, deep conditioning is so important, you guys, but to deep condition your hair every two weeks, you build a healthy scalp and healthy hair and healthy ends all the way around. Can you get 
heat damage? And the answer to that question is yes. And I want to tell you why this is such a great question, because we often get confused of like, what exactly is the reason why you get heat damage and how can you keep that from happening? Heat damage come from the ignorance of how to treat the hair before you apply heat and also the temperature to keep the heat on. And that actually does vary depending on the person's hair texture, hair density. It's not a temperature that I can say 100% you and everyone should keep the temperature at this gauge. It's one that may be popular, which of course, like 350 or 375 or no more than 400. Like those are more popular numbers when it comes to your heat but when it comes to heat damage it depends on how dry your hair is before the heat is applied to the head how often you have applied heat to your hair if your ends are split or not uh if you already have product that is absorbing a lot of your oils like products that's high in alcohol based all those things matter when it comes to heat and also how clean your hair is. If your hair does have buildup on your scalp, buildup on your strands, buildup on your ends, this product will actually cook on top of the hair once you apply heat to the hair. So this is why I say going to a professional is so important, you guys. Take out the time to go to a professional, have a consultation about your hair, your particular hair. Have a conversation on about what products is good for your particular hair and what issues you're having with your hair and how to solve those issues. It's important to have a great hairstylist in your pocket, somebody you can always rely on when you are in the position of when you want to take care of your hair and you want to make that a number one priority. Do I have any suggestions of products to use if you have the texture release? So the number one and the most important product to use if you have the texture relief is strengthening shampoo and conditioner. And the reason why I say that, because it's definitely important to always feed and build on the muscle of the hair when your hair is in any type of form. So if your hair is chemically treated like a relaxer, or if you have color in your hair, anything that is altering the pattern of the hair, you want to always build the strength. You want to always feed the muscle. So the last question is, how do people feel after the texture release? And I only can't answer that question from my clients, you guys. They all loved it. They loved how easy it was to comb the hair when their hair was in its natural pattern. They loved how easy it kept its silk press and their hair didn't revert back after a couple of days or after a couple of hours. It was easier for them to style their hair straight or curly, washing their hair. It was easier. And some have went to relaxers after the texture release because they just fell in love with how their hair was when it was straight. So this is kind of like something you could do if you're debating if you want to go to a relaxer or not and you want to see how your hair is straight without reverting back so quickly, then try the texture release, you guys. It definitely, definitely have, a lot of people have fell in love with it. So before I end today's video, I want to show you guys my client here before she even had the texture release in her head. She is 4C. And I want you guys just to have this visual so you can see how the texture release uh, change the curl pattern 
and what it does to the hair so you can know if this is something you want to do so this was her hair before i even put the texture release in her hair this was her natural curl pattern and this is her curl pattern after two weeks of the texture release being in her hair and this is after i washed it so please keep in mind with wash hair it does have a little bit of weight to it because of the water but as you can see how the texture looks different from the texture release it's a little more looser and over time it will go back to its natural curl pattern the natural curl pattern when uh you shampoo it because every time you shampoo the texture release releases itself from the hair all right you guys so that wraps up today's video and this will be the last video i will be posted for 2023 i will be back in 2024 but before i leave i want to tell you guys thank you so so much for all the love and support I receive on and offline to every single person that came to the salon to get their hair done by me. Thank you so much. That warms my heart so much. For every single one of you guys that have left a lovely comment under my videos, every single one that have liked my videos, have shared my videos, have made it where more and more people can see me thank you so so much you guys 2023 has been a blessing simply because you guys have made sure you have shown all your love and gratitude to me and i definitely appreciate it i will be back in 2024 excuse me i'm losing my voice but before i leave i would like to ask a question for you guys under this video leave comments down below of what you would like to see for 2024 outside of educational videos i need your guys help thank you bye bye